Now we are going to start with the reproductive tract of man and uh, woman. So, when we talk about male reproductive tract, it consists of you know that uh, the male reproductive organ is testes. So, there is a pair of testes present in a male. You know that uh, when a like when a child is developing in a mother's form, so during sixth uh, month of gestation period, the testes descend into a sac like structure called as scrotum. So, first of all, we will start uh, one by one. So, first thing is that uh, there are a pair of testes present in males. You know that the function of the testes is spermatogenesis, is spermatogenesis that means the formation of sperm, formation of sperm which is facilitated by a male sex hormone we already did in an endocrine glands that is testosterone. So, the, the in testes the sperm formation take place. So, now as I as I was telling you that when the like uh, when suppose a baby is developing in a mother's womb and the baby is baby boy. So, then at the 6 month of gestation period testes descend into a sac like structure a pouch like structure made up of skin that is the scrotum. And you know that what is the function. So, this is the uh, skin layer which surrounds the testes that is the scrotum. The function of the scrotum is to provide 2 to 3 degrees Celsius less temperature than body temperature which is required for spermatogenesis. So, scrotum provide actually scrotum provide 2 to 3 degrees Celsius less temperature than body temperature to the testes which is required for spermatogenesis. So, there is a very important function of that pouch that is it is providing an appropriate temperature required for spermatogenesis. Then the, the one which is produced is stored at the, in the organ which is present here there is an organ present like this this is epididymis. What does epididymis do? Epididymis help in storing sperms temporarily. It stores sperms temporarily. As testes are producing, they are storing sperms. The epididymis is storing terms, sperms. Then there is a you can say a tubule which is carrying out the sperm, which is taking the sperms along. That is vas difference. So vas difference is the one that is the sperm duct. And what does it do? It carry sperms it carry sperms. Now, there are different glands present here we have prostate gland we have uh, this thing uh, the uh, seminal, seminal gland. So, the, the one which is in your slavers is a seminal gland. So, there is a seminal gland present which produce uh, you can say which produce seminal fluid which produce seminal fluid and you know that this fluid actually mixes with the sperm and this fluid actually perform an important function what does it do? It, this fluid provide nutrition to sperms and moreover it provides the motility medium that means it provides a medium so that the sperm can move actually. So, seminal gland secretes seminal fluid which provides nutrition to the sperm and also provide the motility medium for the sperms. So, now when the sperms suppose these are the sperms. So, when sperms get mixed with the fluid that is the seminal fluid and also the secretion of prostate gland and also the bulbo urethral gland. So, these uh, thing is now called as semen it is called as semen or semen whatever you can call it as. So, now this is the seminal fluid. So, now here the uh, when it passes from the seminal gland it uh, just uh, you can say it pour its secretion now it becomes semen and this is urethra, this, uh, this is uh, urinary bladder, this is urinary bladder and this opening is urethra. So, it combines with the uh, this thing it combines with the vast difference in order to form a common duct and in males the common duct is present which is uh, meant for the secretion of semen and also for the ex excretion that is the micturition that is the passing of urine. So, this is what are the structures which are present in the male reproductive part again we have the testes the function is for spermatogenesis they are located in a pouch scrotum which is providing 2 to 3 degrees Celsius less temperature than body temperature and then we have epididymis where sperms are stored the duct which carries sperms the glands the glands are basically bulbo urethral gland there is prostate gland and we also have a seminal gland 
and I told you that this is in your slavus that is the seminal gland. So seminal gland what does it do? It actually secretes seminal fluid which is going to provide nutrition to the sperm and also the motility medium. And uh, now when these secretions from the gland mixes with the sperm it is now, now no longer called as sperm. It, this mixture is now called as semen. Now what happens the vast difference actually like uh, suppose we say that this is the vast difference and here we have the urinary bladder. Let's say this is urethra. So it combines with it to form a common duct and this common duct is meant for the secretion of semen and excretion of urine. So this is what is a male reproductive tract. So this is what is happening here. And the sperm formation in males take place at puberty. And you know that what is puberty? Puberty is the stage when the organism becomes sexually mature. So puberty in males occur around 15, uh, 14 to 15 years of age. Again it varies a lot. So this is what is a male reproductive tract. Now moving on to the female reproductive tract what we have is we have a pair of ovaries are there. A pair of ovaries are there. So I will write the functions along. What does an ovary do? It do oogenesis. It carries out oogenesis that is the formation of egg. Formation of egg and it is facilitated by an hormone called as estrogen female sex hormone that is estrogen. So it is producing egg and egg formation start again in females at the age of puberty which is around 11 to 13 years of age. It's when the female becomes sexually mature or you can say it start producing eggs. So you know that the egg production starts from like in this ovary also and in this, this ovary also many eggs are developing, many eggs are developing but only one egg mature and the maturation of an egg uh, occurs from an alternate ovary that like for example uh, in one month it is from the egg gets matured here and uh, in the next month it will be from this ovary. So the alternate ovary function like this. So after this egg is formed then what happened we have this uh, you can say that we have a structure that is called as fimbri. Fimbri is a finger like structures you can see which are going to catch the egg, which receives the egg or which catch the egg. This is the tube that is the fallopian tube also called as oviduct, very important as this is the region where fertilization take place, where fertilization take place. This sac this sac like structure is called as uterus, this where the baby develops a sac where uh, you can say a uh, zygote transforms into a fetus and this is the cervix which is the cap of vagina and vagina is the part is the outer part which receives sperms. So this is what is there uh, in the female reproductive part. Pub at the age of uh, 11 to 13 it attains the puberty that it start producing egg. O two ovaries are there, they, they carry out oogenesis that is the formation of egg. Fimbri is there to catch the egg, fallopian tube that is the oviduct where the fertilization is going to take place. There is a sac where baby develops that is the uterus. This is the cervix which is the cap of vagina and vagina is the portion where which re actually receives the sperm. So this is what about the female reproductive tract. Now what we will be doing is we will be just starting with the fertilization that how the process of fertilization take place or what is the fate of the ovum which get matured in alternate ovary. So this will be taking out now at, as for now just uh, go through these uh, organs and their functions the parts of the tract and with their functions and try to draw these figures also. These are very important because you will be you should know about these uh, labelings because we will be using this in the uh, whole physiology.